Hey guys, welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer Christmas review for board games and card games. Today's game up on the tabletop is called Rune by Zemilio. It is for two players, takes about 10 minutes to play, and it's for ages, I would say, eight and up. In the game Rune, you're going to be getting Rune Masters and Rune cards, in which you'll be playing down every game. You start with three of these cards here, and they're going to have different runes on them. You have to have follow certain placement instructions, because there'll be a Rune card on the ground or on the table. And uh, when you place that card down, you can then choose to play one of your Rune Masters on it, which are the little meeples here, or you can choose to draw another card. When somebody runs out of meeples, then the last player who is left with meeples will just play the rest of their cards, not draw any, and tally up points. And you're going to get points based on how you place it down on the board with your little rune masters it's a very quick very simple game it comes with 16 rune cards six of the meeples one starting card and a rule sheet so i would classify this as a micro game it's a tiny tiny game anyway let's go ahead and take a look at everything you get in it and uh give you a rundown of how to play the game so here we have the game rune and everything included in it it is a micro game but it's got a nice little box here and as you can see it kind of shows you everything that you get in the game and you've got the nice how to play rules just got pictures and examples here. You're going to get your rune deck of cards here, which you're going to go ahead and shuffle out and deal three to each of the players. It's a two-player game. And then after that, you'll leave the rest of the cards somewhere in an area where you can reach it. Each of the players will get their three rune masters. And the first player is going to start by playing one of his or her cards. Uh, there's a couple of rules that follow suit. Uh, when you play cards down, you can play them like this, which means that they have to match. So a blue and a green can match um, on top of each other, or it can match across. So for instance... Um, let's say if I, I play, if I played this here and it was a blue, red, and this was also a blue, that would be a legal play as well. But uh, for instance, we're just going to start with something simple. I'll place this just like that because it matches the same color. And then I can choose to play one of my rune masters. If I play a rune master, like for instance, if I play it there, I will score points at the end of the game. At the end of the game, it tells you how you, how you score points on this little chart here. Blues are one, greens are two, and reds are three. And it shows you on all the cards, there'll be three blue cards, two green, and one red. Uh, when you place this guy down here, if this was the end of the game, he would get one point for this, two points, and three points, because you're going to get a point for the one you're on, as, as well as all the adjacent colors that match. So that may or may not be a good idea because you could place it right here at the end of the game. And if you got if you had him here, you get two and two more points, which would be four. So maybe I'll just go ahead and draw a card instead of playing a rune master. The next player is then going to get to go. And as you see, the board's going to increase in size. And maybe he'll play just like that because it matches that symbol there. And he, in turn, will go ahead and place this guy down. That's going to score him some points at the end of the game there. And the next player is now going to get to select and decide how he wants to do it. Uh, maybe he'll place just like that and place his guy right there, okay? Uh, um, and after he places that, he's done. The next player is going to get to go uh, playing a card. Uh, let's go ahead and place it like that. And then he's going to draw. And you're going to continue that way until uh, eventually somebody ends up placing all of their meeples down. Once that happens, the other player can play as many times as they want. They just can't draw any additional rune cards. So you're only going to have runes cards equal to the amount of meeples. After that happens, you can go ahead and place them. And they'll all go ahead and be placed on the board. And you're going to be scoring points at the end of the game. And you'll just add them up. If this is a blue one, this is the only blue one I was on, it would be one point. And then, of course, two, four, and six points. That's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then here's one and two. And this is three, four, five, and six. So, and that's how it would work. The red player would win. That's the basic idea of how to play rune. There's there's some little examples uh, for additional gameplay, little additional more difficult variants, and uh, some additional rules, but that's about it. Let's go ahead and come up and talk about the game a little bit, maybe some caveats, and then I will tell you what I think about Rune. So what do I think about the game Rune? Well, first of all, it's a micro game, 16 card game, and it's got a couple meeples along with it for each of the players. and. Uh, it's not a huge complex thing, but it does hold some strategy, and I like that. It's also very quick, and you can play it almost anywhere. In the game, you're going to have to follow certain rules, and the rule book will tell you, first of all, placing runes on top of the same color runes, which I showed you, and runes must match, or, or runes have to match adjacent runes. For the expert mode, you apply both rules for each rune on each card instead. And then there's a bunch of little additional uh, explanations here. Uh, the one thing I could say, I guess the main negative about this game that I have, is I could understand all of the way the wording worked, because it 
felt like it was like triple talk. Uh, players can't connect runes controlled by their rune master to others controlled by an opponent's rune masters. And I'm like, and there's more than that, but it just, it, for some reason it was like fiddling with my mind. We eventually figured out how it was all worked, but uh, I think a little bit more clarification as to how the runes are placed would be very nice, as well as whether or not I'd be interested to know if you can place over your opponent's scoring runes on the board. I imagine you can because it doesn't say you can't, but uh, that'd probably be a good uh, frequently asked question. Uh, overall, this is a fun little game. It's a game I definitely suggest picking up for a low cost point. Uh, if you're interested in little two player micro card games, it's going to be enjoyable for you. There's no real theme to it, I'm imagining, other than your, your rune masters attempting to gather as much rune energy as possible. But it doesn't really need a huge uh, amount because of the fact that it's so micro, so simple, and it's a good starter game for anybody that's interested in tactical tile placement or even management on a board. And it has a little bit of nice take that as well. Overall, Rune is a fun game. I suggest you check it out if you like two-player mini strategy games. Rune in the description below. Go ahead and decide for yourself if you're interested in picking out this game for Christmas or maybe later if you're watching this at a later date.